Hey guys, it's Mover96 here and I have another tutorial for you guys. So this one is how to detect if a double chest or any chest or even a furnace is full. So for example, this double chest is almost full. And the way a comparator works by detecting if a chest is full is by how many stacks of items in it. Like how close are the stacks to being full. So since Snowball is only stacked to 16 and this entire chest is almost full, this comparator will think that the chest is almost entirely full. So usually if you put a chest down and you have a comparator behind it and it was almost full, this would put out power for 15 blocks. If it was entirely full, it does the whole length. If it was halfway full of stacks, it would do half its length. And I'll link a video in the description to one of Seth Bling's videos that explains this uh, in much greater detail than I'm going into. So, however, with this system, it's a lot more compact and uh, it fits together nicely because of the subtraction feature of the comparator. So usually if you have a comparator, what it does is it compares if the rear signal it's getting is stronger it's this is only traveling two blocks so the signal is stronger than either of the side inputs and since this one is traveling four this rear one is stronger so in this case it will export the power for 15 blocks just like a repeater would so it kinda acts as a repeater in this sense however if you right click the comparator and this light will come on it's now in subtraction mode and it will output the difference between these inputs so since this is four and this is 2, it's going to output 2, because 4 minus 2 is 2. Okay, so then back over here, when this chest becomes full, since it's not entirely full right now, it will be exporting a signal strength of 1 to the comparator. And then this one is 2. So then what happens is, since this rear, sh sh this rear um, signal is stronger than this side one, because it's only going 1 block, it will then subtract a difference since it's in subtraction mode seen by that torch. So this will do 2 minus 1, which is 1, and it will export a power of 1. And this has to be in subtraction mode, otherwise, since this one would always be stronger, it would be exporting 15 the whole time. So if this is in subtraction mode, and this is power is getting sent to this repeater, which you can then do whatever you want with this. So this is basically a compact way of detecting if the chest itself is full. So what I have it doing is running down underneath to this block right here. And this block has a torch, a redstone torch on it, which you can see under there, which is powering this hopper, preventing items from flowing. So if I take one, two, three, four, and if I add them to this stack, so it's almost full, what's going to happen is the second I put one in here, one more is going to flow in, activating this um, comparator, which will then disable this hopper just for a second until one drains out, and then it's going to turn itself back off. And at the same time, it's getting fed into this dropper, which I'll clear those out from I was testing earlier. And then this torch will turn back on, and when it turns back on, it will lock the hopper and activate the dropper, dispensing it in the lava. So this is more practical if you had like a mob farm, per se, and you didn't want items lagging up. See, there it goes, lagging up on the floor if this chest was full, and you didn't really care because you had a whole double chest full of, like, bones or arrows from, like, a skeleton grinder. So that's one practical application. Or if it was something, like, hooked up to your smelting system, you could have this uh, signal, this redstone signal, a couple note blocks, or, like, a piston, like, alert light or something, just to let you know that, hey, you got to get to your chest um, before, you know, before items start getting dropped on the floor or backed up into the hoppers if you don't want that. Hey, sorry about that guys, I realized that there was a flaw in the system, and uh, I fixed it, I figured it out, and for some reason back here, um, so if you were running this to note blocks or the piston like light indicator, what I was talking about, you can just run it off of this redstone right here, um, but for some reason if you want to copy this exact system that I have where it goes into the hopper, the dropper, and then is dispensed in the lava if it's like hooked up to a mob farm or some reason, you know, you want to actually destroy the entities, um, you have to run it to a repeater with a one tick delay, which is, you know, normal just so the system can keep up. But you cannot have this redstone dust here. It needs to go into a block, which then powers this um, redstone dust. And I think um, this is probably powering this hopper and is slowing down the rate of the items going into the chest. That's the only real reason I can think of why this wouldn't work, but why this does work. So I know it works like this, so you need to have it exactly like this. So to show you that this does work where this torch will power the hopper and the drop dropper. Um, I'm going to put eight snowballs into this chest, and they will get fed into this chest, and exactly eight will get destroyed. So this chest is basically full. You'll always be missing one. And then so if I put in eight and come down here, it 
So as you can see, exactly 8 items were destroyed, and there are still 15 left in this chest. So, this system is just a quick tutorial to show you a smaller, more compact way of detecting if a chest is full instead of running a comparator for 15 blocks or something else that takes up more space. And you could probably even move this repeater back and make it uh, even smaller. So, those are that's just some tips that I have. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please leave any feedback you have in the comments. Um, I read them all, and I really appreciate it. I'll you know if there's something you think I can improve on, let me know, and I'll do my best to you know make it more enjoyable for you guys to watch. So yep, thank you. Um, see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.